The Samsung Galaxy S21 hasn't had much competition yet this year. But with the launch of the Asus ROG Phone 5, one of its first 2021 rivals has arrived. The ROG Phone 5 is built for gamers, but that means it packs enormous amounts of power, a big battery, and most of the other things you'd expect from a flagship phone. So whether you're a mobile gamer or not, it could be worth considering. But how does it compare to the Samsung Galaxy S21? To answer that question, we compared these two phones on every front, including design, screen, camera, battery, power, and more so you can see for yourself which is the right fit. Design The Asus ROG Phone 5 isn't a cell phone. Its glass back has an RGB logo which can display two colors at once and supports eight different lighting schemes. The phone comes in phantom black and storm white shades, and it's chunky and hefty at 172.8x77.2x10.29 and 238. The Samsung Galaxy S21 meanwhile stands out a lot less, as there's no RGB lighting on its fairly plain back, and it has a plastic rather than glass rear. Its triple lens camera runs vertically down the left edge of the back, so that aspect looks different too. And around the front there's a punch hole camera, and therefore less bezeled than on the ROG Phone 5. The Samsung Galaxy S21 additionally benefits from I-68 certification, meaning it's water resistant to depths of 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes. You don't get any such protection on the Asus ROG Phone 5. Display The Asus ROG Phone 5 has a 6.78 inch 1080x2448 AMOLED screen with 395 pixels per inch, a 144HC refresh rate, and HDR10 Plus support. The Samsung Galaxy S21 meanwhile has a 6.2-inch 1080x2400 AMOLED screen with 421 pixels per inch, a 120HC refresh rate, and HDR10 Plus support. So the resolutions are similar, but the Samsung Galaxy S21 screen is substantially smaller, and therefore also has a slightly higher pixel density. Camera and battery life As the Asus ROG Phone 5 is primarily a gaming phone, you might expect that the camera would be an afterthought. But on paper, at least it sounds solid. The phone has a 64MP f1.8 main camera, a 13MP f2.4 ultra-wide one, and a 5MP f2.0 macro one, as well as a 24MP f2.45 front-facing snapper. The Samsung Galaxy S21 meanwhile has a 12MP f1.8 main camera, a 64MP f2.0 telephoto one, and a 12MP f2.2 ultra-wide one, plus a 10MP f2.2 camera on the front. Both phones can also shoot video in up to 8K quality, with the Galaxy S21 doing this at 24ths, while the ROG Phone 5 does it at 30ths. Specs and features, both of these phones are packed full of power, but the Asus ROG Phone 5 has the edge. It has a top-end Snapdragon 888 chipset paired with up to 16GB of RAM, whereas while the Galaxy S21 has the same chipset, in some regions anyway, with others getting the comparable Exynos 2100. It only has 8GB of RAM. As a gaming phone, the ROG Phone 5 has additional features to help you make the most of its power too, such as air triggers, which provide off-screen buttons to use in games. It also supports a range of optional gaming accessories. Both phones have up to 256GB of storage and support for 5G though, and neither of them have a micro SD card slot. They also both run Android 11. Takeaway, the Asus ROG Phone 5 has a lot going for it, with its refresh rate, RAM, battery size, charging speed, and glass back all being better than what the Samsung Galaxy S21 offers. It also has a bigger screen, some useful gaming features, and roughly matches the S21 in most other ways, such as resolution, storage, and 5G support. That said, the flashy design and RGB lights on the ROG Phone 5 certainly won't appeal to everyone, and while it has the same number of cameras as Samsung's phone, it lacks a telephoto snapper. It's also bigger, thicker, and doesn't have the IP rating found on the Galaxy S21. So you probably shouldn't get the ROG Phone 5 wet. In all then, there's enough going in each phone's favor that there's no clear winner when looking purely at specs. Which phone will be best for you will likely depend on what you most care about in a handset. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.